Hi friends, it's Liz here. Thank you for joining me today. I am excited about this project. It's another one of those um, one page wonders and you are going to need a 12 by 12 sheet of paper to make this, which you will be cutting down. Um, I'm going to show you the basics of it after I show you what I made. Now, this was not my original idea. I did see a few ladies make something similar. And as I started kind of watching, more of them started popping up. So I will link below everyone I saw. But from what I remember, it was uh, Pink Strawberries. I think that was the last one I saw. Um, I think I started with someone called Camellia Crafts Designs and then Scrimping Mummy. I also saw her video as well. I will, I'll link their channels below so you can check them out if you want to. Okay, so what I love about it is that it's so compact and you can, of course, add so many pieces to it to send to your friends. For this little section here, I just collaged some flowers and just kind of a couple of layers of papers. So when you open it up, um, you've got a little kind of um, sentiment there. And so here, um, as you all know, I love to reuse junk mail envelopes. So I did a pocket here and then it's got a little pocket there. Now the ladies that made these made them different. Of course, I kind of added my own things to it as always, but I just love how fun and easy um, these are to put together because of course, you know, you only need one sheet of paper to make the base of it and then you can add your own touches to it. And you open it up and this is what I love about it is all the different pockets. Oh, and you know what? I'm, I'm gonna start here because otherwise I'll forget. So you've got a nice large pocket there you have the pockets here in the middle. And then I left a little tiny one here, which I forgot to add a little tag. Um, so these two, I actually just made them with my own digitals. Um, I did punch out the tags, but I used my digital for them and I thought it turned out really nice. This one's also from my mini ephemera kit. And then I've got, just like I said, some layers. So I love that it's got those pockets there. And then if this goes back in, it may not go back in right now. There we are. Okay, so you see how that's there. And then on this side, you have another little area for, um, you know, more pockets. And then this pocket here is open to this side. So like I said, I've made it a little different um, because of the way you fold it. The one thing I did change, which I think one of the ladies also changed as well, was um, the fold out for the first pocket here. So this here. Um, I did cut this center, to, but I'll show you in the video following this one how to put that together. But isn't this super fun? Like I said, I've kind of um, made a few little different tweaks to mine. I love how it came out. I'm definitely going to be making more. I think I need to make my tag here a little bit um, thicker so that it fits nicely in that. But you see how nicely that goes right in. And depending on how long you want your tag, you can either make it tuck right in or just sort of leave it peeking out that way. And I thought that was just so cute. So anywho, let's get started. I'm going to show you how to make this. I hope um, that you enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment below, hit that notification bell. And if you haven't entered my giveaway, you should do so. It's still open as of now that I'm posting this video. And uh, anyways, okay, let's get started. Okay, so I've cut my paper to 10 and a half by 12 inches. Keep in mind um, where your paper is um, facing, so where you want your images to be, if it's directional paper, etc. Scored the 12 inch side at the six inch mark. And now I'm going to do my scores on the 10 and a half inch mark. We start at the two inch, and then we score at the six inch. And then we do one last tiny score at the 10 inch. And again, remember if you've got directional paper, you're going to just follow the steps. Just make sure that it's facing the direction that you want. You'll be folding it at the six inch um, mark where we had it on the um, 12 inch side. And now you can see the um, the paper I have is um, single sided. I think that that's easier for this project because you're basically covering up the inside by making your pockets. So now I'm just going ahead and making all my folds. 
and if you need to pause the video to kind of go back and see what I've done I do that often when I'm crafting just to make sure that I don't miss a step and as I always say start with a scrap of paper that you don't really care too much about because um, the first ones can be a little tricky if you're not sure about them and then you don't want to mess up your nice paper to begin with okay so we're at the ten and a half inch side that we're folding up here so your first little cut is going to be at the um, the two inch score line that we had made up to the first mark there so you see this is the first cut we have and then one of these pieces we cut off because we're not going to need it this is how we're going to make our pocket so I'm just going to cut off the bottom part which was the score at the 10 inch mark we're just cutting off that little extra there okay so the next step is um, making sure again that it's folded nicely we'll be adding our glue this is where I make my extra cut because to make the pockets um, there I want to make sure I don't have that bulk of the um, score line here so I'm actually going to cut on either side of where I made that score so you see here I've cut on one side of it and then I'm just going to cut the other side of the score mark and now I'm going to have two pieces that are on their own which will make it so much easier when you're making your pockets now you don't have to do this step but I found that that's the part that I really thought was so much easier to um, you know glue your pockets etc so at this point you can decide if you want to add that little notch at the top to show that you do have a little pocket so I'll be doing that here again this is optional not something that you have to do and I'll be doing the other side as well so now you can see that these are going to be the pockets so you're going to have the two pockets on the top and then the other way we fold the piece is how you're going to have your additional little tuck spots so you can see what it's looking like there so this first pocket we're going to be adding glue and you'll be adding glue to the flap here and then you'll also be adding glue to that first score line I forgot but I'm going back to it in the video so you'll see that in a minute so don't do this um, glue your flap first and then sorry don't glue your flap first add glue to either side of this pocket before you fold it over just like I'm showing you now but you could do that before you fold it over and make sure you have a nice um, uh, glued part there and then the next pocket will be adding glue to one side only because we want to make sure that the left side facing you of the pocket is um, open okay so here we just add glue to this side of your pocket and the supplies I use um, are my favorite supplies I will have a link below so you can check out my favorite supplies the papers I use the glue scissors etc um, I get that question asked a lot so I like to just have a link for you to check out so here's where you fold this flap over and this is going to be your um, kind of little tuck spot on the pocket and this part is where we add the ex extra little um, fold afterwards as well and I'll show you that in a minute so here I'm just cutting just a little kind of um, corner off of it so the pocket has a little bit more of shape and this part here which is what's going to fold over your entire piece here is where I'm adding an extra little kind of like an eighth of an inch of a score line and this is the other thing that I saw one of the ladies suggest and I thought it was a great idea because then when you fold your flap over it has a little bit more room so you see here I'm lining up to my six inch mark and then I'm just going over one notch and just scoring that side there this way it gives me a little more room to fold this flap over my piece and then it doesn't it doesn't get that weird kind of like alligator mouth when you're folding it over so let me just show you again this part here is we're just going to glue the bottom and then at this point you can leave it this way but I wanted to cover up the um, white pieces of my cardstock 
So I'm just going to be adding some pieces there. And here I'm just showing you what that little um, extra notch that we did, how it helps keep that closed as well. So I love that this could be like a little envelope looking, um, you know, project. Um, but I also, I kind of wanted to make it so that it wasn't necessarily an envelope style. So I've just cut off these extra little pieces that I had and I'll be using them to cover the white spot of my, um, my little pocket ephemera holder. Now I have no idea what these are called, um, but I really like all the little tuck spots and flips, etc. This is uh, the part that I'm just eyeballing and I think um, a lot of people just do this. You don't again have to cut that piece. You can cut it just straight across and not make that angle and then that will make it a little easier for you to um, cover your spot if you want to. Again, it's not something that you have to do, but I think it just gives it a nice finished look. And like I said initially, um, using one sided sheet of paper, I find that I'm not wasting kind of like the other side um, of the double sided because you're, I'm not going to see it anyways when you're making the pockets, right? And then you've got that piece that fits there. And then I'm going to do the same to the left side and just add that piece over. My friends, I hope you're all doing well. Um, we've had, I think, the longest lockdown anywhere in the world. Um, I'm noticing a lot of you are going to restaurants and shopping and trips and, you know, crafty getaways, etc. And we've been in lockdown still. Um, I haven't, um, you know, we haven't really had a chance to um, get together with family or go anywhere yet. Um, I think we still have another week left of this and then they'll decide again so um yeah it's been it's been a little interesting to kind of see everybody else out there in the world starting to um you know get back to the new normal and we are still sort of stuck not being able to do very much so i'm really looking forward to you know getting together with family and um and friends etc Okay, so I'm just going to add another little pocket with the leftover piece of paper. Again, it's optional. You don't have to do this, but I think if you take advantage of it and add as many pockets or tuck spots as you can, it makes it that much more fun. Um, I will um, kind of start gathering the pieces to decorate this as well. I always ask if you want to see that process, let me know, leave a comment below. I don't want to make extra videos unless there's enough interest, you know, for you to see something. Um, so yeah, please let me know. And I'm definitely coming back very soon with the other projects that um, I was going to be finishing off with you as well. Um, I will start to have all those details linked below. Check out my blog for any additional details. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this quick share. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.